Right now we are on one of the reefs right pretty close to um, one on point community. We call this place Kalenagun. We're actually collecting the samples, getting anything that's live, seagrass, shellfish, any crabs. Got him. Got him. Got him. Excellent work. We bring this back, spread it out, and yeah, bring the kids down this morning and you have a look, you know, what's around our beautiful country. AIMS, our partners, who've been with us for about four or five years, looking over our country. We're using imagery, so video and photographic stills, to assess every year the amount of coral and also numbers of fish. And getting scientific returns, it gives us hard evidence, gives us numbers, and the evidence we're collecting, we can show it to government departments, show it to their major funding bodies. It puts us in a great place where we're sharing, sharing knowledge. What do you guys think we're here for today? Um, looking at coral. Looking at coral, yeah, that's a good one. This week is all about looking at our history of the work we've done so far. We're going to give back all this knowledge and back to our communities. And we're looking at all the different animals and plants and trying to understand healthy country. Well, do you guys know the name of this? I don't know, we've never seen that before. It has purple claws, so pretty. So we want to be able to count those different plants and animals so that we can come back next year and count them again and see if they're still staying the same or there's more of them or less of them. All this research we've done so far is basically show how healthy our country is. You know what species are, how healthy our reefs are. It's important that you know our young generation look at that and hopefully keep looking after the country and go a bit further maybe. We encourage these kids to keep being educated, going to marine science. So you said you couldn't draw, I reckon you're very good at drawing. What about that? You know, yeah, too <laughs> So we're here at the Ali Lewin School and we've got three scientists with us and an artist in residence and we've got a whole lot of Bati Jari and Hurani Rangers. We didn't have before. There's Jill over there. Uh -huh. <laughs> and one Jill color. Perfect. So throughout the week we've been teaching the kids about how to do science, how to collect data, how to then analyze it. So we've also been talking about why we do monitoring. So you got mangrove habitat and all the oranges reef or the money. So they map out all the reef areas where they know the deadly good fishing spot so that we can protect them areas. Can anyone point on the map where your favourite fishing spot is? But, <laughs> all around the world, they've been just taking too much fish. We don't want that to happen here, do we? So it's pretty healthy at the moment as we speak. But we need to maintain that. We need to continue to look after our country. What we really have been doing over the years, thousands and thousands of years. So the Bati Jawi elders, as traditional custodians, they've been observing their country for a very long time. There's been a lot of changes, especially in the islands. Yeah. We're concerned about that as a community member, not only for now, for the future. In 2016, we had a big bleaching up here from warm water. We got hard corals, soft corals, sponges, all them different things. So we try and go back to the same transects every year to see changes. 2019, it's going up, and then 2020, it's going a little bit more up. So that's good, good sign that reef growing. It looks like it might be re recovering from the bleaching. This week was the first time we saw the rangers taking those materials and then translating them into the community, which I think is fantastic. Well done. Well done. We're finishing off on a Friday with a, with a nice barbecue. Really nice fat mullet. It's very important that we get fish for a good culture day. When you look at our kids, they are our future and hopefully they'll see the wonderful work the Rangers doing. Yeah, it's the best job. 
there's going to be another big boat. Probably, probably going to need nearly 20 people working on Sea Country. Yeah. Any young ladies here want to be a ranger when they grow up, a ranger? This is exactly what we have in our country. And this is exactly what we still want in our country for years to come. And if they're healthy, we are healthy too. <laughs>